What's up dudes and dudes to the internet, my name's Seth, and today I'm going to be showing you how to enable multi-threading on Trove. What multi-threading is essentially going to do is it's going to make Trove take full advantage of all of the processors that you have on your computer, because up until this point, it hasn't been doing that. This means that a lot of you should see some huge frame rate increase, while some of you that may or may not have multiple cores might not actually see any difference. If you're unsure how many cores you actually have on your computer, just go to the start menu, search up device manager, open it up, see processors here, click the down arrow, that's how many cores we're dealing with. The next step a lot of you from Minecraft are going to be able to understand, but just click on start and you have to put percentage app data percentage because otherwise Windows is not going to actually recognize it because this is supposed to be like a hidden file, right? Once you go into the roaming file, you're just going to want to click on the trove file right here and then there's the config file. This is where we're going to change the setting. If you haven't already, you can right click and open with notepad or wordpad. And depending which one you choose, I use wordpad because it's nice, neat and proper. If you use a text file, it means that it's going to be all garbled and all squished together. You can click Control F and start searching for the word, but otherwise we've already got multi-threaded right here. Default, it's gonna be false or just blank like it is right now. So all you're doing is setting it to true. Then you just wanna make sure that you save the file when you close it, and that's already it. You should see some insane improvements in the functionality of Trove depending on how many processors you actually have. Oh, and just in case you're having trouble with admin controls and you actually, like Windows sometimes will not let you actually save the config file in this folder because it's like admin protected, a quick easy solution to that is to just save this file onto the desktop once you've finished editing the multi-threading and telling it true, and then you just click and drag it from the desktop into this folder and tell it to delete and save over this one. But the majority of you shouldn't actually have to deal with that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Sayonara and stay epic, everybody.